Okay, what is going on guys? It is the Dev King here coming to you guys with a brand new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys about variables. And this is actually where the fun stuff starts, okay? Variables are actually kind of cool because you actually do stuff with them besides like printing where you can only print. But variables are really cool and uh, yeah, I'll be teaching you about those in today's video. So let's get right into it. Okay, so to enter your first script, well, you guys know how to do this already. I taught you last video. So you can type into script, enter, and then delete this because we don't need that. So variables um in summer or like in, in you know like basic words is like a variable holds a value okay so it's uh a string or like a, a name or sorry it holds a value okay that's all you need to know so if i i'm gonna, I'm gonna make this example okay like let's say i had a box okay and i called the box i wrote i wrote on the box i wrote um clothes okay what would you think that's in that box all right a t-shirt maybe you know like or you know, um, a hoodie, you know, like obviously it's clothes, okay? So um, it's just like a box that holds numbers and the box can always change and stuff like that. So let's just, I'll show you what I mean right now. So to define your first variable, you're gonna wanna go ahead and just type in local, okay? So type in local and then type a space, all right? Now, local, and then this is where you type the name, okay? So local basically just uh, makes your script run a little bit faster and it's just good practice to put before all your variables. Um, don't worry about that right now though because it doesn't really um, you know that concern you but to type in local and then hit space or hit yeah hit space bar and then type in the name of your variable so I'm gonna call the variable my name okay so you can name the variable whatever you want it doesn't matter it can be a like um, it can be like um, um, you can call it hot dogs you can call it <laughs> mac and cheese all right whatever you want to call it doesn't matter um, just make sure it doesn't start with a number. If the variable starts with a number, then um, it, it won't work, okay? But you can always put numbers after. So you can call it like, mm, you know, like hot dogs one or two or, you know, it doesn't matter. Just don't start with a number, that's pretty much it. Anyways, after that, you're gonna type in equals and then you're gonna type in um, the value variable. So I'm gonna, how many hot dogs do we have? We have four hot dogs, okay? So <laughs> we have four hot dogs. So um, what can we do with this now is what you're asking probably. So we can print this, we can add it to the other stuff, we can, um, we're using it all the time. So it, it's very important. So you can just go ahead and print hot dogs, okay? <laughs> and now you're obviously gonna get, if you can assume, four, because it's not in quotation marks and it's actually assumed, or it's actually um, using the variable to print. So it's gonna print four. So it, it's really what it's doing is just, it's going to the script, it says, okay, local hot dogs is equal to four and we're going to print hot dogs now what is hot dogs four okay so it just prints four so that's pretty simple now we can also do strings for variables okay so we can do local um favorite name <laughs> um the deaf king <laughs> okay you can do that so basically obviously you can print that too and it'll just print the dev king now a thing about doing strings or a thing about yeah, sorry, one second. I think about doing strings is that you need to make sure they're in quotation marks, okay? They're always gonna be in quotation marks. But don't put the variables in quotation marks when you're printing, okay? Only strings and uh, if they're exact, if you want an exact string, okay? And then another type of variable we can do is we can do local, um, we can do local um, like um, favorite decimal point, all right? And basically you can do uh, 0 0.3, um, 6.0, anyways, that's decimal point, all right, pretty simple. Now, a cool thing you can do with the variables is you can add them together. So we can do this, okay, we can do hot dogs, um, we'll make a new variable, we'll call it um, hamburgers, okay? We have, s uh, we have six hamburgers, okay? So we can do hot dogs plus hamburgers, oh, my bad, hamburgers, and it'll print the value of hot dogs plus the value of hamburgers. So, print hot dogs plus hamburgers, and you get four plus six, 10, okay? <laughs> nice. So yeah, that's what you can do with variables and a lot more, of course, but right now we're not gonna go into that because I need someone to teach you basic stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much variables, and um, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson, and and tomorrow we'll probably be talking about functions, or actually not functions, probably something basic. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.